Hello guys and welcome to another video, this is Yakura's Moments and in this video I'm gonna talk about how you can install side loaded apps on your Mi Box S or any smart box that you may have or even your smart TV. You may be wondering why you should install side loaded apps when you have Google Play Store to install all your apps. But if you see carefully on Google Play Store the many apps that are missing, you just cannot find them. So for one reason or another we need to overpass those restrictions the manufacturers put on these boxes. So let me show you how you can install side loaded apps on your smart TV or any smart box that you may have. In my case I have the Mi Box S and we're gonna do it step by step. Before we continue don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos like this one. So after that being said, let's get started! Alright, so in order to do it we will need a pen drive and a computer to download one application. So let's go to the PC and open our browser and search for tv.updoid.com. Here because the original website wasn't working, I'll download it from this one. Both of them I'm gonna have in the description below. So download the Aptoid TV, once it's downloaded copy it to your pen drive and here we finish already with the PC and let's go to our TV with the smart box to explain you the rest. Before doing anything you will need to have installed the file management app and here I have the FX file explorer, a very good file management app that you can find on Google Play Store and install it. When you install it go to the settings, go to device preferences and at the bottom you'll see security and restrictions. Click on that and go to unknown sources and make FX allowed. And I will also close this one so we don't have any other restriction or other surprises on our installation. Now that we did that we can put our pen drive to our box or the TV and open FX file explorer. Go to the drive, find the file and click on it. It will ask you if you want to install, click yes install and once installed click done and close everything. Let's go now back to main menu and click on our application and you'll see that you cannot find the program we just installed. So here you will need another app that will allow you to see your site loaded applications. So I have here the ATV launcher. You can find it on Google Play Store and install it. Once installed open ATV launcher and now you'll see our program, the app Toit. Click on it, click install it, say yes or no for personalized ads click install, click ok, allow the access and it will start the installation. Maybe some advertisements will play, so just wait. After there's a message popping out, so click on the settings to allow the installation. Allow update, there is gonna be ads again, so click the X when they finish and go out of the ad. And here we are ready, don't need to click install again as we just did it. On Aptoid it's very convenient to connect the mouse. So if you haven't taken out the pen drive you can do it as we don't need it anymore. So let's go back to main menu and I will show you how you can access the program and download every app that you may need. So as we said before if you go to your apps from your default TV launcher you will not find any of the applications that we downloaded. So you will need to use the ATV launcher for our site loaded apps. So open ATV Launcher and after open our application Aptoid. Ok now here on Aptoid I will actually recommend to put a mouse because with the help of the mouse you can navigate much more easy. And as you can see here on Aptoid there are so many applications that you can explore, so many games that you can install and play with your family and friends. You can also see the basic application like Netflix and Amazon Prime and many others like Facebook, Instagram, you can see Messenger, even WhatsApp that you cannot find on Google Play Store that is installed on your box. So let's say for example I will search and download uh, let's say the Firefox browser. So I will go here on the search and I will type Firefox and I will click. Ok, I will click the first one and I will install it. As you can see the, there is also Discord that you can download, Discord application, Whatsapp as we said, we said, so many apps to choose actually on this app toy. After we click install down there and when it finished we can open it. Ok, so let's go to Google first. And here you can search now anything like you do on your PC, on your laptop, on whatever you're using the most. So 
So let's go and search, for example, for news, news today, let's say. And as you can see, you can browse around to find anything you may want. So I will click here on BBC News and I can read articles like normally, like normal website, like I, I will be sitting on my PC. And normally you wouldn't have this access by the Mi Box with the default uh, application that can it allow you to download. So let's go to the default uh, Google Play Store that the Mi Box is coming for, just for example, just to show you. And if we check on Google Store to search for Firefox, there will not be any result actually, as you can see here, just fast like a fox, like I think it's a game, this one, and it's actually a very nice game. So that's it. With this method, you can download any app that you cannot find on Google Play Store that is pre-installed on your device. If you find it too complicated or too difficult, try to watch it and follow the step exactly. Or if you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section below. But if I manage to do it, you can manage to do it definitely. Okay, and that's the video for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like to support my effort on making this video. Thanks for watching again, like and subscribe and we're gonna talk in the next one.